So now that we've seen the various form factors, let's move into the actual architecture of a motherboard itself. Now here's one, this is, this is one of my favorite things to talk about, the bus. Right? You hear about the bus, the system bus. Well, very often when we hear the term bus, we think of this, uh, this vehicle that transports a lot of people around, right? That you can drive a lot of people around in a bus. But believe it or not, it's not the vehicle. A bus is actually more like this. It's the highways that the vehicle travels on. Okay, that's, that's really a better analogy of what a bus is or the, or the system bus is. And really, it's this. Okay, what you're looking at here is the actual underside of the motherboard. Okay, so that motherboard picture that I showed you at, at the beginning of this lesson, if I were to flip it over, this is what it looks like. Okay, and you notice that this doesn't look that much different than, than this, right? This is, this is a view from above of a you know crazy, I, I believe this is Los Angeles, California, I believe is, is what this is a picture of. This is what some of the highways look like. Well, it's not that much different than what the back of the motherboard looks like. So that's what the bus actually is, is it's all the circuitry that the data gets to travel on. Okay, it's how data flows around from one component to another on the motherboard. Oh yeah, here we go. Is this a mess or what? This, believe it or not, is a crazy diagram explaining kind of how things are actually all connected together on the motherboard. And you'll notice that right up at the top is the CPU. Right? I find it interesting that uh, we say that the CPU or the processor is like the brains. Right? If we think about a human, it's like the brains. And we say that the motherboard itself is the heart. The heart doesn't really illustrate very well here, but the CPU does. I mean, if you almost picture this diagram like this is a stick figure of a person, look at the CPU. It's up at the top in the head, right? It's where all the brains are, are at. So anyway, from there, uh, you'll notice that we have the bus. The bus is where everything travels to and from the CPU. And a couple of very specific things. I'm not, not going to go through everything here with you, but two very specific things that I want to make sure that you're clear on. Uh, you know, to some extent, possibly because you could be tested on this on the exam. Uh, but you need to understand Northbridge and Southbridge. Okay? And the Northbridge is what's most specifically responsible for allowing data to communicate back and forth between memory or RAM and the processor. Now you'll also notice that I show here a connection with the PCIe slot and we haven't even talked about PCIe uh, but it talks about video card and to be specific graphics because it's so resource intensive also has its own form of processing and memory and so that's why that's part of that north bridge there. Whereas the south bridge has to do with the connection with all of your other devices, your drives, external ports, expansion slots, and things like that. Okay, so uh, if you just mostly, what I, what I tell people to remember, if, the, if you're watching this for the intent of passing the A-plus certification exam, then what I recommend is the easy one is that the North Bridge is specifically between processor and memory. Just remember that one thing, okay, processor and memory. Southbridge, kind of everything else. So if you get a question, it talks about uh, something in communication with the processor and with the motherboard, it's going to be the Southbridge then.